Live from the Money Show in Seattle, Washington, I'm Adrian Manns here with Tim Plain of Investors Alley. And uh, we were talking a minute ago about sort of the, the area that uh, Tim likes to focus on. It happens to be one that I hate for intraday trading because I can never make sense of it. But maybe, maybe if we talk energies here, um, I can get enough insight to, to make sense of them myself. Well, I think what you do and I do are completely opposite on this. But yeah, because yeah, I'm, I'm interested in energy infrastructure, the pipeline companies, the terminal companies, the, the dividend pains. Traditionally, it's MLPs, but they're kind of fading away. But I like it right now, especially because they've gone through the ugliest four years I've ever seen from any market okay. sector. Uh, when oil prices crashed in 2015, 14, and 15, it took down the MLPs so hard. And those guys have spent the last three years just restructuring their businesses into something that uh, is more financially sustainable. Mm -hmm. And they have. But the bar market hasn't realized it yet, so you've got companies out there with yields 7, 8, 9%. They'll be able to grow their distributions at double-digit rates, and uh, which works out to mid-teens total returns once the world figures it out. It's just going to be figured out. And you, you, you're fighting a lot of, you know, and I may be tilting at windmills, but I find a lot of things that people believe are the truth to not be. Like, you know, renewable energy is 10% of the energy used in this country. Mm -hmm. And uh, smaller than that, global energy. Something I saw the other day that, um, the United States has 300 million people uses X amount of uh, carbon-based fuels per year. The developing world has three times as many people, or 10 times as many people, excuse me, and use the same amount of carbon-based energy. So if the Indias and Chinas and everywhere else in the world wants to get up to the American lifestyle, they have to increase their energy use by tenfold. And where's that going to come from? Sure. Hopefully the Permian Basin on through pipelines that we own. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, but it's you know, it's it's really a value play now because of the restructuring these companies done. You know, nobody's going to stop driving gasoline-powered cars in the next 10, 15 years. Yeah, right. And, you know, and I, and I have such a skewed view because you know, I, I live in northern Nevada, small town, where in every driveway there's an SUV and a pickup truck. Sure. <laughs> And so you're, you're mostly looking at, at the pipeline companies or also like field services? Or yeah, what, what, whatever, the, yeah, whatever they're doing. Again, I'm, I'm income focused, dividend income yeah. focused, so it tends towards the, uh, um, some of the water service companies. Because mm -hmm. Anybody can get a fixed contract out of somebody and turn it into a dividend income. Yeah. All right. And, and yeah, I, use some of, I use a few funds for that too, just because you can't hit it all. Okay, and, and sort of bigger picture then, what, you know, what do you see Maybe outside of outside of oil, maybe public utilities, or is there anything there? Or? Uh, I like utilities a lot. Again, I mean they're very conservative. They're right. Very very conservative. I I use a, uh, um, a closed-in fund called uh, Reeves. I think it's Reeves Asset Management or Reeves something utility fund. UTG is the stock symbol. We'll go with the stock symbol. And it's a uh, um, been around for 30 years. And closed-in fund pays about a 6% dividend yield. Okay. And uh, just very straightforward. They increase the dividend about once a year, so just a very stable, steady income. And the, the folks at Reeves, they manage $30 billion in soil utilities. So I kind of count on them for um, expertise in that area because they're, they're smart people. And uh, uh, I like a couple of the uh, renewable energy um, mm -hmm. yield coasts. Okay. PEGI, yeah. Pattern yeah. Energy Group, uh, went through a rough patch last year and beat the share price down. And so you're, uh, it seems like they've turned it around and it's an 8% yield and they should start dividend recovery soon. And the other one is NEP, uh, Nextair Energy Partners, which is you know a, a, an affiliate of Nextair Energy, the largest. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but NEP yields in the high fours and growing the dividend by 12% a year. So kind of stuff I like. All right. Well, how about like the Devons of the world? And uh... No, I, you know, I don't trust those guys. Right. <laughs> All right. They, 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 you know, they, 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 they have such a hard time of living up their projections. Right. You just watch them quarter after quarter and they go, we're going to do this, we're going to make this much money, and they don't. You know, but then they go out and raise more capital and keep going. Oh, that's good advice. All right, Tim, thank you. Right. And for The Money Show, I'm Adrian Manns, Seattle, Washington.